We'll call the July 7, 2021 meeting of Green and Board of Public Works and Safety Board at 5 30 p.m. Thank you. Uh, roll call, please. Mr. Coleman? Here. Mr. Hoover? Here. Mr. Rutherford? Here. Thank you. Minutes of the regular session of June 21, 2021 have been distributed to members of the board. Any corrections, additions, or deletions from staff? Hearing none, is there a motion for approval as presented? Move for approval. Second. Thank you. Further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. First on our agenda tonight is Chief Hoggett. Consideration of a couple contracts for service. Even Chief. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Before I get started, I would like to uh, just to, to let the, the board know that we do have three members of the fire department that are currently deployed with Indiana Task Force One so, on the surf side. And uh, so they've been doing uh, important work in 12 hour shifts. Uh, one of the gentlemen is a, a midnight to noon, and the other is a noon to midnight. And uh, we have one that's a split from 9P to 9A. So uh, they're down there, and obviously, uh, our thoughts and prayers are with them and their families and the important work that they're doing. That's the toughest, toughest sign. It is. It is. Can't imagine. So, uh, I'm actually uh, before you with a couple of contracts tonight. One, the first one is consideration of contract for services for TCT flooring. So, that is TCT flooring on the agenda. And that is for Station 94. Uh, and it is for replacement of uh, carpeting um, for that station, which was uh, opened in 2006, and it's, it's the original um, <clears throat> carpeting. So I'd like to uh, be able to enter into that contract for $11,255.40. This is for the mayor's signature. I'll move for approval of the mayor's signature. Okay. Any discussion? <laughs> Seeing that, all in favor say aye. All right. Aye. All right. Thank you. The second item is a contract with ERS, uh, wireless communication. This is for a backup storm siren repeater, which is the piece of equipment that is used to actually activate the storm sirens uh, for northern Johnson County. And we had a failure on the original repeater. Uh, we were able to get to so go move to a backup, and this is a replacement for that backup. So we always have one ready to go if we need it. I'd like to have approval for that contract for eleven thousand four hundred and forty-four dollars and seventy cents. Also for the mayor's signature. I move that we approve that and authorize the mayor to sign. Step. For the discussion. There you go. All fair say aye. 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 And that motion passes unanimously. Thank you. And the last item is for consideration approval of purchase laptops and equipment uh, from a vendor that uh, IT department uses regularly. Uh, but I come before you because it's over $10,000. And uh, that is for replacement for laptops that go into all of our first out apparatus for run reporting purposes for fire and EMS runs. And that total is $25,621.52. Chief, is this replacing anything? Or? It is. It's replacing what we currently have are uh, tablets and uh, that don't have keyboards. And so it's an integrated tablet with a keyboard. And we found it's very difficult uh, in certain situations when you're actually going to have to put in names, addresses, and things like that to get the keyboard to work properly. But there are parts of it that are easy, uh, but the computers that we're trying that we're trying to buy would actually have that integrated into it so it'd be a touch screen with a with a true keyboard. And you're purchasing these not leasing. Correct. They are purchase. Other questions for the chief? Did, did you say that this was approved cares for money? Was yes, actually the, the prior item for ERS was CARES Act money. Okay. And this item as well comes for from CARES Act money. I just like to address that. Right, that, 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 that went through uh, Common Council uh, and gained their approval. Thank you, the board. I move for approval. Second. For the discussion, say that all in favor say aye. 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 Thank, you, Thank you very much. Thanks, Chief. Have a good evening. You too. Give our best to those 
offices uh, down there. So how long will they yeah. stay, you know? So the, the most current email I got uh, from the task force leader said that uh, it looked like that they were at least going to be there another 15 days. They were deployed, uh, actually, I should say, last uh, Wednesday afternoon, and they were deployed um, shortly before midnight. So tomorrow will be a full week for them. So they were down there when the other power was. They were, in fact, they, had, they were pulled off um, so they could they can complete that uh, uh, demo prep and then the demolition and they went right back to work after it was. It was uh, well, I didn't work 12 hours in that heat. Right. Well, they've been taking a lot, there are, have been a lot of safety breaks, so they've been taking a lot of safety breaks. Uh, and, uh, but yeah, the heat and also right. the, the hurricane and tropical storm. Sad. Right. Sad. So, and they're doing hard work. So. Okay, thank you. Have a good evening. Next, uh, we have Rio Van Trees from Lenar, Indianapolis. Is anybody with us online? Yeah, this is Ty Reinhardt with Lenar. Okay, hi, Brian. Tell us what you like to do. Well, uh, we're asking for the approval of the sanitary easement uh that goes across which i'm not seeing in the necessarily in the visual we have now but the easement goes across the property to the east it's 20 foot sanitary easement uh, we were actually supposed to go along emerson and we acquired easements there but after talking to the sanitary department they asked us to go east All right, we've got a motion from Paul Peony of our office um, uh, recommending a motion, but having a couple of conditions, one being um, receipt of a revised legal description and exhibit and then review and approval by the engineering division and receipt of the original easement document executed by the developer uh, so the city can get signatures on that prior to being reported. Daniel, is that all we have uh, as recommended conditions? Uh, for this part, yes. Okay. Any problems with those, Brian? Uh, nope, that's all taken care of. Anybody have a question? Any other issues for this? I do. Maybe Keith, you can help me. Uh, it says that this uh, development will be with a uh, lift station. Could they not get uh, gravity to work through uh, South Lake? No. Uh, they actually ran it out. There's only probably seven lots we can pick up gravity. Oh, wow. So we just decided to go ahead and put the lift station down towards the south, the common area, which would be the most logical place to absorb all the water she had off site. Now this particular easement goes off to the east. That's not a lot here. Going towards Main itself, go off to the east here and just cross uh, another parcel. Time in South Lake, it's good oversized line uh, that uh, goes north to the uh, side intersection. So there's a pretty large parcel. This is the west property, right? Or west? west, yes. So north of this location, there's a, a fairly large empty parcel. But it then, have you even looked at that to see if it will flow through this? To the north, yeah, right here, for north of that is South Lake. That will flow gravity. Okay. South way. Okay. Would this lift station be sized to handle uh, properties to the south? It's sized, side? yes, from this location out to the interstate. Okay. Down south to Tracy Road. And then it even goes all the way over to the railroad tracks. So you can pick up white one if, if need be. They choose so. Okay. Thank you, Keith. Any other questions or comments? Pleasure to the board. I move that we approve subject to the conditions in the report. Second. Further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thanks, Brian. Have a good evening. Thank you. Next, anyone from the audience wish to address us either in person or online? Hearing none, let's move on to Mr. Hudson with the IDM Compliance Plan Status Update. 
We are um, current with all the reports and all's well with ID. I'd like to hear that. Thank you. Your status of tasks. Eh? First up is a contract for services with McAllister CAT, and this is for the um, emergency generators at the BBW building. Um, <clears throat> We've uh, received a copy of the contract and Kevin Steinmetz assures me that they will be kept in peak operating condition and they will minimize expensive repairs. Keith, is this something you wanna touch with? Yeah. And there's a uh, the service contract and right. value in terms of yeah. addition and then, which is one solution by the mayor. Any discussion? Except motion for approval. So moved. Second. Further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Second up is an amendment to the grant for Ivy Tech College. Uh, the total amount of the grant is not changing, um, but there is a change in how the money is going to be used, which we favor. Um, they're going to spend less on administration and more on supplies. And so the um, staff supports this change. I'll move for approval. Second. Mayor of Sign. Further discussion? Seeing it all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. That's all I have. Thank you, Sam. Daniel. All right, I have uh, four items. <clears throat> Excuse me. First is with the uh, Estes Express Line. This is just one of the uh, typical um, requests to authorize the mayor or deputy mayor to sign the board to have the uh, O&M. Manual for the quality for this project. So moved. Okay. Further discussion? Seeing that, all in favor say aye. 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 Question passes. Next is for Brighton Estates, Section 4B. Uh, they are requesting that the board accept the performance guarantee for erosion control and to accept and execute the uh, general inspection and testing agreement by the acceptance of it. Is 4B the section that's closer it, it, to the park? Um, Freedom Springs? Well, 4B and 4A share a border with the park. 4B okay. is the northern at the shaded area there on the 4A edge. looks like it's, it's getting pretty well under development. Okay. I'll move for approval. Second. Further discussion? Seeing that, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passed. Next, I have Greenwood Estates, the Long Park. Uh, these are improvements that they'll be making on the north side, on their property located on the north side, uh, stop 18. Uh, so this will be to uh, accept the performance guarantee for dirt work, storm sewer, erosion control center, sewer streets, sidewalks, signs and monuments, and to accept the next general and sanitary sewer inspection testing agreements, and ratify the acceptance of the percent upfront fees. There is uh, one condition that being the receipt of the revised performance agreement reviewed and approved by legal and engineering staff. So moved. Second, I've got a question. Okay, on discussion. Um, did they resolve their drainage problems? I remember they were in last year. I, think, uh, yeah, I believe they talked did. about that. They did. Okay. And then that lower left hand corner. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Southwest corner drainage on the tension pond. Yep. Thank you. Further discussion? Can you now bear say aye? Aye. 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 Motion passes. And Ridgetop subdivision. And last is Ridgetop. Uh, this, uh, they, they had come in earlier this year seeking uh, some on site drain adjustments. So the motion here is to accept and execute the on site drain adjustments. Uh, Landowners Heather and Joshua Holtz and the Hampton Zoo LLC for the storm sewer out fall pipe being proposed by the future Ridge Top subdivision uh, with one condition, uh, which is storm sewer out fall pipe shall be reinforced concrete pipe and not plastic pipe as the currently proposed. And that would be the areas certainly <coughs> in the public right of way. Somewhat common for developers to uh, propose a plastic pipe for that? Based on materials, yeah. Uh, the city prefers uh, concrete pipe with that public right away. Sure. The weight, there's, there's a uh, potential for it to actually have some buoyancy. 
explode and cause a little speed bump in the road. There's there's those potential. There are means to mitigate that. But that is a one issue. Uh, others are when you have utility companies installing a new fiber optic gas line. It's a little when they hit the concrete pipe, they, they understand that something's there and yeah. stop versus a plastic pipe that they, that they just go around. Is there a motion for this? Move for approval subject to that condition. Second. Further discussion? Say yeah, all in favor say aye. 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 Yeah, that's all I have. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to say I'm in for Greg tonight. Hi, how are you? Okay, so we got two items. One is consideration of OpenGov software agreement. Um, the quotes for fourteen thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollars. This is the renewal. We use the software since twenty fifteen, and really it's a, it's a transparency portal. We also use it for some of our debt tracking, and it helps with our budget process as well. Are there any significant changes to what we've had in the past? No, no, no significant changes. I guess it's just a renewal. I mean, like any other thing, it kind of goes up every year. But other than that, it's, uh, it's very consistent with what we've used in the past. And this is, for, this is for the control of the signs, right? Questions for there? I'll move for approval of the control of the signs. Second. Further discussion? Say now, I'll favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Okay, the next item is uh, we also have a quote from Tyler Technologies, and this is um, this is training. It's for our ERP system, so our system that we currently use, Tyler slash Munis, is what we call it. Um, it has an HR module to it. It's already we've already paid for that software. We're now paying you know to, to get trained on it so we can implement the HR piece of the software. So that's uh, what this quote's for, and it's for the quote looks like it's fourteen thousand eight hundred dollars. I'll move for approval. I'll oh, second. Further discussion? This is also for Mr. Wright to sign. All in favor of motion say aye. Aye. Motion passed. Thank you, Jared. Be sure and tell Greg that uh, he usually comes and doesn't say anything. So. <laughs> there you go. I'm more, so one more talk with him. I'll make sure to tell him. I'll move for approval of the plan. I'll second that. Further discussion? Saying that all in favor say aye. 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 Passes. Anything else that's for the good of the cause? Hearing none, we'll stand adjourned at 5 47 p.m. Thank you all. Early efficient meeting. Very nice.